everybody. Sorry, sorry now about the wind. Um, it's a pretty windy day. We're expecting a storm at some stage today. I'm not sure when. Now we're up in the hill. These are the last three that are up here. We've got the bull, the sucker heifer, and the um, she's a cow heifer. She didn't go in calf last year, so I kept her on. She's in calf now. So uh, yeah, pulled the heifers out of here about a month ago. Just I suppose look, we're getting tight in grass, stepping back to the out farm. We'll see now in a moment and um lift these three here i'm not sure how much longer they'll stay here because it is getting kind of wet up here being totally honest uh even like land is saturated now there's made, it's made so much rain land is saturated so there's no no land is really dry now being honest so um yeah but they're they are doing okay here they're fine they're getting some ration and they're okay the bull seems to want to take it all fair enough um that suckler heifer should be calving down in February with the rest of the cows. I said the bees are just calving at the same time. We'd be in calving kind of farm as they say. So all is good. Um, yeah, they're doing quite well now. And the land is just saturated. You know, even like it's now the quad is even tracks. So we'll just run, we'll just run down now, and we'll go back to the out farm, which got the, and we'll check the animals back there. So there's a lot of springs down here. Springs are normally a good sign, the old, gen the older generation do say. But when the springs rose here about a month ago, 10 days later, we got good weather for a few days. So normally you'd be hoping it, that they've risen again, so you'd be hoping that it would come again. We got one night, bad night of rain. It's Friday night that all the towns in this country were flooded. This place was totally washed completely. You know, it's, it's just making some amount of water like, and um, springs are high. So, is it a good sign? I hope so. But there's still a lot of water gushing down there. It's actually eroding that bank. That bank is out to, out to here, out about here. The past couple of years, it's just washed it away down. I guess that's what erosion does, you know, definitely, so, yeah, a lot of springs, is it a good sign? I hope so. So guys, more wind and the sun is very strong back here. These are the Frisian wheeling bullocks and they'll actually be going this weekend for sale, so they'll be going and um, yeah, they're in good enough condition. Selling wheelings this year. Look, we're, we're not, um, basically, we're not out wintering cattle anymore. Uh, big bit of a decision we made, I suppose, first of all, just labor. Worst thing um, was like a late two, two hours a day, bring back the, not saying, look, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not wrong, but we're both busy. And that was a, a big reason as well. And number two, give the ground a break um, the ground skate here the ground's getting no chance and we're hoping now to stop the outwintering spread this place a slurry and leave the cat out, out early in the spring that's our plan we've sold off all the cattle that we all the year and a half cattle they're all gone they went about god it's nearly over a month ago now they're all gone and the ink half heifers are actually back here they were in the hill and like i said and we moved them back here just because the hill was getting bare and there was, there, there was grass here we sold off the cattle and we left them back here just to fatten them up more they're in good order they're not getting any hill they're just getting a kilo and a half a ration a day and they're they have they're using them in crystal x mineral buckets and they're in, they're in good order how long more will they be able to stay here? I don't really know. We'll see that the, the, depending on weather, like them 14 will be going. So the top half of the farm, the big silage field, all the silage gone will be closed off. So there'll be no more cattle going in there once they're gone. So they'll just have the lower part here. And there is more wheelings over there. So we'll get to them in a minute. Heifers are in good order. I'm quite happy with them in fairness now. They're all in good order. I'm very happy with them. Um, they do need a salmonella vaccine. So we'll be doing that now later second round of it just for protection 
but they are in good condition there's 15 of them there they're in great order so they'll probably hopefully live out as long as we can look if they're happy they're not complaining they're happy they're every time every day i come back they're grazing away they get their meals they lie down they're happy they have a dry lie up here because it's sandy they're happy there's no point bringing them home if they're happy you know they're they are up at target weights i believe so they are pretty good so i'm very happy with them and how they turned out yeah and the third thing with the outwind train is just with the price of silage and like and everything and ration the price of silage and ration and everything it's just we made the decision just to sell the cattle earlier finish them earlier it's a heifer behind me now and she's not moving park the sensors but yeah we just look i suppose we just felt it wasn't worth it anymore really that was our big thing like you know you have sometimes in farming like you have to make decisions like that like it's fine to be keeping cattle like over the winter but it has to return i'm not saying over the years it didn't return something it did but with the price of ration on everything and and diesel and bring back bales you know you gotta draw the line somewhere so we decided not to anymore and we actually are happier now without doing it because the land gets a break and we'll we'll be able to um we'll be able to have all the animals at home manage them manage the numbers easier and it could be way handier so that's the reason why we're doing that so i'm just driving driving around now to the at our wheelings in the van i suppose i could do with a four by four couldn't i really a jeep yeah so down the line but not now because the van just suits me better at the moment but um yeah if anyone has any advice on what four by four to buy let me know i know there's a lot of opinions out there i know everyone's going to say land cruiser but i just don't like Toyotas. I just don't. I don't. I hate to say it. I just. I know. I admit that they are the best, but I just don't like them. If that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. But look, we are. Everyone has their own thing. So I don't know. In, in time, I don't know what I'll buy. But the van will do me for now anyway. It just suits me for what I'm doing. But I would love a four by four. But we all have dreams. So that's one of the dreams I have to fulfil at some stage. But not now. But we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. So now we'll just feed this gang and um, we'll see how hard they're getting on. So guys, this is the last of the wheelings that are out. There's freezer made heifers here. There's beef stock here, there's Charlie's, there's Angus's. And um, they're doing very well. It's a big run here. They've all this field and they've all the sandbanks all the way back. Have a big run. What will probably happen is in time that the heifers, the ink calf heifers will probably be the first to come home and then this crowd will have the whole place. That's what I normally do at the inn, so they'll probably have the whole lot and then that'll um, allow, me to, allow me to keep them out a bit longer. But the ink calf heifers, when grass is kind of tight there, they will be coming home because they need feeding before calving. So I can work on that. This, this lot will survive another while in they'd survive another while just to keep them out you know but i'd say another month now we'll test this place like to keep them out like if, if weather keeps going the way it's going you know it's dry but still you don't want to let them out in very harsh conditions all down all down here is flooded this is nothing new um just the water has been making the past while has been pretty cool it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect the cattle life but um yeah Charlie Heffer there, hopefully be getting her up to weights and be putting her in calf at some stage. But all the freezing heifers are doing well. They're always the most on my they're always the most on my mind. And they're doing pretty well. Um, I had there's eleven there, there's two at home. So it's 13 all together. And there's two more ones that are a bit they're a bit underweight. So they actually got they actually got I think they got kind of who's over the summer. So I had to treat them and they're good that they aren't they aren't they're not that far behind the rest of them but they need some feeding over the winter because I sold I sold five of them five of them and we're down to this much now. So yeah. You know I had too many so I had twenty so I had fifteen left now so it's a pretty good number to have like you know and 
yeah, that's part of covering me like, you know. So, wind is really bad. My microphone isn't working for some odd reason. I don't know what's wrong with it after me buying it. I'm pretty pissed off by it, but what do you do? A very small thing. So, well, they're happy out, so we'll leave them and we'll go back to the, back to the yard.
Now, it's all the heifers in the pen. Now it's like to put the first two in the crush and start vaccinating them. Now this crush gate isn't great, it's one of the most style ones. The head goes through and pull back the bar. It's quite dangerous, it's not very safe to use, I'll be totally honest. Um, it's one of the old type, it's grand and everything, but like, um, yeah, I'd rather the anti-locking one, but the automatic one, but um, there's, the, I think the crush is a bit narrow for the, anti, for the automatic one, really. So maybe down the line, I might have, have to do a bit of some modifications for it, but What's the job? 5 ml under the skin, so pretty simple. First one done. That's the first three done. They're fairly quiet. Might seem a bit dangerous to put my head down to open the gate, but they're pretty quiet animals. But look, you can never be too careful, but I kind of know that they're pretty quiet, so it makes it a bit easier. This saves me walking around all the time. To the outside. So guys, that's all the heifers vaccinated now. Uh, the job is um, it done as they say. Made a massive rain charge, so I had to stop filming. So that's kind of the main reason why I stopped. I got pretty wet, but I just kept going. So um, yeah, it worked out pretty well. Like I said, that crush gate, um, it's grand. I would love to put in an automatic one there at some stage, uh, along with concrete the pin and fixing the wall along there and a host of other jobs. But look, we'll get there. We'll get there. Rome wasn't built in a day. Definitely not. You know, you have to just, sometimes you have to just wait and work away until you get there. But you'll always get there in the end. You'll always get there in the end. You know, it might take a couple of years, but I'll get there in the end. 
but that concrete now all out here and everything that's something i really, that's something I, I really want to do especially when the paint's kind of used a lot it's used probably once a month like so that's something i want to do sorry about the wind that's something i do want to do in time in time but anyway everything good order they're loving them crystal x buckets that i that, that i'm giving them they really like them the wheelings love them as well i just buy them locally in my curry agribusiness farm store most farm stores have them that's why i'm using with them so they're really yeah really good product can't fault it they, they love them every bucket's lick clean is it helping them i believe it is i believe it is helping them a lot and i might talk about it in another video but definitely it is working well it's working well so while the day is dry i'm gonna keep moving guys thanks for watching the video really appreciate it please give it a like and subscribe and i'll see y'all next sunday so thanks and bye